Welcome back to the Dr. Pepper Hearthstone All-Star Tournament. Uh, joining me today casting is Kungin. So to summarize what's been happening, we are actually in the semifinals. We are about to see Koi 2 versus Rex. Yes. We had just witnessed um, Ruxar defeat Skuamato in the semifinals in order to go to the final match. So uh, Ruxar will be facing the winner of the match we are about to witness. Yeah, and uh, Rex has been the player that's impressed me the most so far. So it's going to be really fun to see him play again. And uh, also very interesting to see if he will change decks now. Because I think the people in the semifinals probably knows what their opponents have been playing. So if he knows he's playing Handlock and Druid, then, you know, he might pick something to counter that. Mm -hmm. So we should be getting into the match pretty quickly. But do you recall what decks Rex was playing? When we first saw uh, Yeah, Rex was playing Handlock and Druid. I think he, that's, he played at both rounds we watched him play. It seems like we've seen a lot of Handlock and a lot of Druid yep. today. Which is a little... Actually, I don't think... Have we seen anything other than Ham, anything other than Warlock, Hunter, mm -hmm. and Druid? We saw one mage, but I think that's it. Yeah, I think it's basically been four classes over and over so far. No one has been playing... What haven't they been playing? Oh, we actually saw one Shaman in the beginning, though. Oh, we did, right? So, right. Yeah, one Shaman that was deck. knocked out pretty quickly. Yeah. So, we have... I assume Rex is on the handlock here. I can't actually see who's who. But it's handlock... Wait, wait. Handlock against Hunter, right? Hmm. I can't... The camera angle we have right now, we can't see the cards. Oh, there we go. There, there we go. go. So yeah, Rex is on the handlock once again, and Koi is playing the... What is it you call it again? The hybrid the hunter. Hunt, the hybrid hunter, yes. It's a new form, it's not a face hunter, it's not a mid-range hunter. It's a new improved hybrid version of the two. Yes. That is more annoying than any other build ever. He did get his zombie shell, so that's a great start for the handlock. That's oh yeah. The, basically a dead dream start to have, uh, since it even trades two units from the hunters normally. I, I would have to say, <clears> actually, I'll give the advantage to uh, Rex here. And, with the yeah, hand. definitely. Uh, he's he's at, basically at full life on turn th three, and he can drop a Drake here. Would you coin out Drake, or would you just tap for turn four here? I think I coin out Drake here. It's such a strong... I mean, it's a 4-8 here, right? It's a 4-7. Four, 4-7, seven. Four, seven. yeah. He does have the Owl though, so yeah. I mean, you can. It might not always be the right play. But I think it's worth it. Ooh, oh wow, if he can coin... The knife oh, juggler wow. owl. Oh shit, that... Oh really? Oh, he doesn't take the risk. It would be a 50-50, but that would... Very... He can still weapon it though, so I think that's the right move, isn't it? Yeah, I think it... But at the same time, he plays the Shredder and it kills it, then he can just weapon it off anyways and save the Owl. Mm, yeah, yeah. I like it. It's playing good. So keeping the Owl can be really crucial against Handlock, especially when you want to burn them down at the end. This is about so, to get uh, yeah. really badly, though. The Owl yeah. bomb. I mean, you, you spoke about it earlier when we saw the Shaman, and you said that uh, a lot of good Shaman players keep their first Earth Shock against the first Drake, and that's kind of what he's doing right here as well. Oh, he decides not to use the Owl Dark Bomb here. Yeah, he's keeping that one as well. value stronger card more than the mm -hmm. damage on the Drake. Yeah, I mean, he, he knows it's the Hybrid Hunter, so I guess he might want to save it for like a high main or something like that. I guess now would be a decent chance to do the juggler owl. Yeah, 66% chance is pretty good. Because you get to follow it up with a high main on turn 6. Yeah. Yeah, his turns have been pretty good now, the last turns. Oh, interesting. Oh, he's still keeping it. Zuka. He really wants to go face here. <laughs> Oh, I guess he's keeping it for the Molten Taunters and stuff then. Not sure how I like that play here. I don't know. Getting bored and killing that Drake would have been really strong because he doesn't even have an Hellfire here. I think I'll just anti-heal bot and kill the Leper Gnome. 
What do you think? Uh, heal bot and kill the leper gnome. Yeah, it's definitely not bad. Yeah, maybe. It's scary to keep a juggler up though, but he, he does. Because then the minion is a 33% chance to kill it. Yeah, he, he goes for the tap. So I would have to guess that he's going to owl then. Tap here was a little bit strange, no? Huh, what are you doing here? Well, he doesn't have any Molten Giant, so... I guess he's gonna take the chance here and try to get the 33. Does he get it? No. Oh. Well, that could have been a very, very, very good thing, because he could have cleared without using his juggler. Oh, but does... Oh, and he decides not to attack. Wait, if he doesn't do anything, shouldn't he trade it then? Because <clears throat> now he can still trade it and maybe do something more with it? I think so. Right? Yeah. It just gives him the option to do a better play than the trade. Because he can still trade, right? So he has to trade there if he doesn't attack face. Um, what do you think you would do in this position? He has 15 life. Hmm. Life and soul is okay. bad here. Yeah. So it's a yeah, this is a perfect him. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely good. Oh wow, that's a big draw. Oh, the other high yeah, main. Uh, it didn't take long for him to drop that one. No. <laughs> just drop it like Todd when you get that. It's like Dr. Boom on turn 7. You don't question yeah. it. Yeah. Play it. Yeah. And this is why it's so hard to play against Handlock. <laughs> His opponent doesn't have any Molten Giants, but he still can't attack here. But I don't know, putting him at 14 is okay though. So, well, tapping two Moltens could come out. I still think one of the best plays I've ever seen was actually at BlazeCon with Number Guy. It was a Handlock Mirror, and he used his Earth and Ring Farseer instead of healing up his Giant back to full, healed his opponent, stopping his opponent from actually being able to get out mm -hmm. Molten Giant at any point wow. in the game. And it was that like, is er an impressive play. And it was literally like perfect. It stopped him two turns from that point after two taps from being able to use Molten Giant Shadow Flame. It was such a great setup. Wow. So what do you do here? It's a really, really tough turn, I think. I mean, you... <laughs> yeah, pin damage showing. I think you Ancient Watcher heal bot. Okay. Yeah. That's solid. This gets you out of kill range. Ooh, that quick shot will be good. The only issue. Oh, wow. <clears throat> doesn't want to free. He can't use everything this turn, though, but next turn he will be able to draw a card from quick shot, I think. So, how much do you do? 15, 16, 17, getting him. Yeah, so I think you. You put him with 5 here, and then just kill him with a quick shot and kill command, and he can't, like, draw access yet, so. The, yeah, he actually has lethal if the other player doesn't have another heal bot. But that's the issue. If you use the freezing trap here, then the heal bot <clears throat> back. But then again, that's going to be 7 mana, so I think it's okay. But he doesn't have to use the freezing, though, if you want to do that play. But I think it's okay, because it's fine to have the freezing trap proc on the heal bot, because it's not like a 7 mana heal bot going to do that much. <clears throat> no, exactly. Then it's just doing a heal bot anyway. Yeah, I, I like going all in phase here, definitely. Especially since it's not like if if it was a turn eight now and would go into nine, it wouldn't have been as strong. But yeah, definitely just slab phase here. Kill command, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. he saves it. But but that's it's also okay though, because he has to, he he can do owl quick. Sh oh, he can't do the full combo though next turn. Mm, it's a little bit weird because he can't like if he the warlock clears here, he, he does not have lethal clear. the next turn. He did that not is. set up lethal here. That was kind of strange. You really like if you can set up a lethal in two turns, you should usually do it, especially when they already played one heal bot. So we got a molten here, and he has shadow flame. Oh, this could be a really strong turn. Wow. Exactly. 
Oh wow, he really messed so think, this up the hunter. He so didn't I think silence. He's going to silence the high main. Shadow flame, it doesn't matter. Uh, shadow flame his ancient watcher. Mm -hmm. Kill the high main and then have a molten giant on the board. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh, we should really have gone for the two turn kill there. I don't think it was a risky play either, because it's only heal bot that prevents him from winning, basically. Exactly, and he already used one at that point. Yeah. And even if he plays a heal bot that turn, it doesn't really do anything, because he can only heal bot and use three mana, so... Uh, he would still Ooh, lose like turn this. after that. Giving the Watcher. Mm -hmm. It allows him to get another big taunt up. Yeah. Yeah, definitely good here. And now he realizes how much trouble he was in and what a mistake. Not using the kill command was. Yeah, he's been one mana off lethal here now. If he used the kill command, he could have drawn a card from the quick shot as well here this turn. No, he's oh wait, no, he doesn't have lethal. Oh, wait, he does yeah. have lethal. Oh, I thought he was one mana off. I thought he only had eight. Oh, and then it was fine. It's a long day of casting. We'll get over it. Oh yeah, quick! I was thinking that quick. I, I told you before. I've never played with really quick shot. It's only two mana, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was thinking. So it looks like mana. Koi takes <laughs> over Rex in, in an impressive manner. Um, yeah, he definitely played it perfect. And he, if he could, I, I didn't think he could play Owl for the kill command and do uh, quick shot and hero power. I, I miscounted the mana. Mm -hmm. So then it was definitely the right play. Do, do I see what I think I see? Oh wow, finally! Finally the Grim Patron, first time today. Do, do I see it? We've got it going. <laughs> yeah. It looks like... Which player is this? Is this Koi? I think this is Koi. So Koi yeah, with likely. the Grim Patron Warrior versus Rex on the Druid. So if I was in a best of three tournament, this is the exact lineup I would bring. We would have, I would personally bring the Grim Patron Warrior and the Hybrid Hunter. They were without yeah. out the two best decks currently. So, and it's proving. Look, if you just take a look at how far Koi is, yeah. and, and if he takes this match, he'll be in the finals. Mm -hmm. A very terrible Druid start here. And a very good Patron. Oh. Yep. <laughs> it's not looking he, good. Well, if he, he draws a Grim Patron here, the game is exactly. already over. He can, he's, yeah, missed that, one, he's missing one thing, the patron. <laughs> yeah. It, it's instantly over if he gets that card, because he can get four Grim Patrons out on turn five. <laughs> and that's... Uh, Druid can't deal with that. Oh, with, that's a really good pickup. Turn then. five, he can actually get six Grim Patrons with the Inner Rage and Whirlwind. Oh yeah, if he keeps the coin, yeah. <laughs> so I, I would just use Inner Rage here and cycle it, personally. That shade but, was a very important picker for the Druid, otherwise two blank turns in a row, it's almost impossible to come back from that. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, I don't know, I, I think... So he should trade here, yeah. I think. Yeah. I really think not cycling that uh, Inner Rage was a mistake there. Because it would have not only killed the shade for him to trade, but you already have a whirlwind in hand, so I don't think you need to be that greedy in terms of getting all that health. Yeah. Let's see if he can draw that patch on the next turn, because I think it ends then, <laughs> more or less. What do, you, what do you think about playing that top <clears throat> instead of waiting a turn? Because if he does wait a turn, he could actually use it to protect his Grim Patron, if he draws it again, of course. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I guess you just slam the taunt here. Yeah. It, prote exactly. it doesn't even die to the to the weapon here. And it doesn't have... Did it? No, I didn't get it. But this is a pretty good turn here anyway. He can get a really big frauding, but he probably wants to keep it at 4 though, to prevent the rat. But weapon just... and taskmaster alone is a board clear here, and then he has 3 mana left, or 4 even, to do whatever he wants. This is the issue I think he ran into, is not cycling the Inner Rage. It's, yes, he had all the Whirlwind effects he needed, but if he doesn't mm -hmm. cycle into the cards, 
that are necessary to push this game forward. He's going to run into trouble. Yeah, I, I like that he didn't injure his frogling here. Because he tries to pass. Swipe air power. Oh, he's playing Earth? Emperor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. He has a really good hand as well for it. He has two spells and double lures. Wild growth for one is kind of nice as well, honestly. No machine man. going to be good here. Get a little recycle going. So he will definitely execute that, right? I would expect yeah. so. He has double execute. Yeah, he kind of has to execute that, to be honest. But he would rather use Whirlwind than trade a minion here? Uh, and I think... Maybe I think you just didn't rage it, yeah. In a rage execute. Oh. I mean, it's all. I mean, normally it's really hard for Druid to come back when someone has three minions on the board, but he does have cheap spells here, so he can, can clear here. I think I'd prefer to, clear, to see Legion of Lore, personally, just to kind of get some card draw, give him a minion to deal with, too. It's really scary leaving that big guy up, though. I mean, the frauding can do insane damage if you have the right cards. Now, he could actually clear the board here by swiping the 2-4, big game hunter, the frothing, and then hero power oh. off 2-1. Oh, that's true. That's not Oh, a that's play. actually pretty good. But you might want to keep it for the Gromash or Dr. Boom, though. But yeah, I think he's... I think oh, he's the play here. Okay. Yeah, it looks like he's doing it. Nice. So he's going for clear. Yeah, this is really good. He gets bored as well here. <clears throat> Very nice play. He's playing really good, this Koi guy. No, 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 this is Rex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is Rex. Rex. Yeah, Rex has always been playing really good in this tournament. But now here's what I imagine. I can see a Grom coming out. Or... Mm. Well, it leaves Grom at 5 life. Well, we know he doesn't have an answer to it now, but... I think I think I like Grom. Cause Grom trade. Or Grom just Grom face. Because that, yes. that way, the following turn he can use. It just gives him another out for his Warsong Commander. Mhm. Mm because you don't on seven mana. Yes, you can Warsong Commander, Acolyte, Whirlwind. But I think you'd rather save that so you can Warsong Commander, Acolyte, Whirlwind, execute, which I think makes a big difference. So he does not have an answer for this. Start digging, but I can't imagine what he's digging for. Yeah, if he plays lore, he can't dig for a BGH at least. And he already used this. I mean, I guess he doesn't play two. That is gonna hurt him. So this is where it's gonna cause some trouble. So the war song. Actually, he didn't, might not even have. To, I don't think he should war song if he doesn't draw into anything. So just the Acolyte Whirlwind Execute will be pretty efficient here. I I, I want this to be a game three here. <laughs> so definitely Acolyte Whirlwind. Armor Smith. Oh, that was... Interesting. Hmm. So he values his Acolyte and Whirlwind more than he does his War Song. I'm not sure what to think of that. Yeah, that was a little bit strange. I mean, drawing would have been really good as well. He doesn't have a lot of options for next turn now. If the Druid would have cleared this, for example. Hmm. Belcher Shredder is his best option. But not again. Keeping Warsong alive? Yeah, not killing Warsong because it's always. not fun. Ooh. Okay, so what order do you do this in? I think that's the most difficult choice. Yeah, I mean, I guess you want to draw as much as possible here. 
people. Oh. He does play the boom version. The only issue with this, it leaves your Grom at one health. Well. Oh wow, that armor smith was a really good draw there. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this matchup? Is the warrior a heavy favorite here? I think warrior is generally heavy yeah. favorite in this matchup. Well, the Grom is finally dead. At least it's been up for three turns now. <laughs> So you kill the Grom, is... kill the Warsong. You can't really play scenarios here, because if he has... Well, if you... Maybe if you kill the Taunter, but you don't really want to run into Grim Pattern on the... Like, hitting both the 2-2s, two right? But he's doing it. I, I think so scenarios is correct here. Yeah, but it, it could be really dangerous if he has, like, Warsong Grim Pattern on his hand. But it, he hasn't played them yet, so I guess he, he's pretty... Sure oh, that he ouch. doesn't have those Should've... cards. Oh, he did draw Should've one. Should've attacked with Shredder first. If he had a green pattern here, the Druid would have been in big trouble. He wants a Death Bite over Dr. Boom. That's an interesting choice. I think he's really banking on Grim Patron now. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how many cards he has left, but it should be a pretty good chance to draw it every turn here. So, depending on how many cards left, he has two Grim Patrons, he has a Frothing Berserker, which would end it. Can't think of anything else that would do it. The Druid, I mean, he might draw into Lethal. He just needs a Force, basically. Well, he does have 32 life, but he... He already has a lot of damage. He has seven on board now, and if the warrior can't clear much, then it's, you know, shit tons of damage with the combo the next turn. Mm -hmm. Is he gonna heal here? Yeah. I think getting a Loth about was more important. Yeah, I was thinking that as well, getting Loth about just to... Because he can't really lethal with the... Uh, if he can't use his oh, spells. Oh, you don't want to get... No, too many low health mi or low attack minions. Yeah, that too, for the Grim Patron. Yeah, that's why, like, Scenarius is a little bit scary yeah, to play. Uh, should be game. Because he's got four, five, six. six oh yeah, he didn't. Out. Twelve. It's exactly lethal. Oh, wow. Yeah, if we played Lothab, this play wouldn't have been possible, right? No. Nope. Because right now it's 6 plus 6 plus 6. Yeah. The question is, does he know how to do math? <laughs> and he does. It seems so. <laughs> <laughs> or just watch him, like, play Frothing before uh, Warsong. I've seen people do that, too. So Koi is going to take the series over Rex with, again, what well I think played. are the two best decks uh, currently in the game. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit surprised. I mean, we hadn't seen Koi before, but Rex had been playing really, really good in the previous games. <laughs> so, congrats but, but to yeah, Koi. <clears throat> sometimes it doesn't matter how good you are. If you're up against decks that can do what Grim Page and Warrior and Tybern Hunter yeah. can do, not really much about it. Like, you just can't do anything about it. But he did, uh, Koi played really well in the series, yeah, and he has a pretty decent legend rank as well. So it looks like going into the finals, we're going to have Koi up against Ruxar for the final. Oh, Ruxar made it. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, it was the previous game. Yeah, yeah we watched double semi-final in a row. <laughs> so we are going to take one final break before we're back for the finals. Uh, stay tuned in and we'll be back in a little bit.